Today, I'll show you how to work on your backdrop so you move it from something like this to this. Now, let me put all together so you see. So on the left, it's the original backdrop we used. And then on the right is what we've been able to convert it to. Now, this backdrop I used was um, a foam core that I painted blue. As you can see here, some parts were destroyed. And then behind it is a canvas backdrop. So it's not big enough. You see, so the essence of this tutorial is to show you how to expand or extend this backdrop. It can be any backdrop that you use, whether plywood, a wall or anything, how to extend it and then get something like what we have on the right side. So we'll take this image in its raw state to Photoshop and then continue. But hey, I have a surprise tip for you. So make sure you watch this video to the end so that you don't miss it. Welcome back guys. So this is um, a raw image. We only did some raw processing in Capture One. Now the first thing we would want to do is clean up these uh, areas that we don't need. So first thing we do is come to the marquee and then select the rectangular marquee tool. So we select the area that we want to correct. So in this case I'll select up to the bottom here and then we go to Edit, Fill, and then you make sure the under contents, it's content aware. There are other options there, but for now we want to use content aware and then click OK. This works like magic. Just look at this. It's been able to clean whatever we have up there. So you press Command D, so it takes out the selection. So we do the same thing for this side. We want to clear up to somewhere here. So we go do the same thing, edit, fill, content aware then we click OK. It's resource intensive so if your system is not that fast you experience some lags. See it did that. So we come here do the same thing select up to where we want it to work on in this case up to here. The selection is a uh, preferential you can select more or less. Fill is the same procedure we've used three times because we worked on three different areas. So once we press command D see easily we've been able to patch up all those areas this works for seamless backdrop or any other backdrop that you use so as i explained earlier this is a, a stereo foam it's not any strange backdrop or something you can use plywood any backdrop that you use once you need to extend it and it was very small so i used it mostly for portraits but then this technique can be applied to any kind of backdrop. Now the bonus tip that I talked about. Now let's say you want to post on Instagram. If you crop this, you end up cutting off most part. Let's say you want to keep just this, but then you want to extend it, make it look like you took this picture on a bigger backdrop. So what we do is we go to image, canvas size, and then here I prefer using in percentage. So I go to percent, and then I change the width to 120%. Now what that does is it extends the sides to the width to 120. So 10% here, 10%. And now we see that the extension is black at both ends. So we use the same um, technique. You select the rectangular marquee tool and then come here and then go the same way. We go to edit, fill content aware and click OK and seamlessly that cleans up that area and then extends it. So we do the same thing here like this. Edit, fill, content aware. And this is it. So you press Command D and we've been able to extend this backdrop to make it look like we shot on a bigger backdrop. So if this video has been helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like and then Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for watching.